I just cut my two front pieces. Wow, super cute. And then I just realized like the pieces are full of stains that I missed. I can't recut anything because I just don't have enough of this fabric for the tops. Oh, this sucks. I'm trying not to be really mad right now. <laughs> like I did my checks, but there was just more that I missed. Let's like suss out this situation because if I can cut more pieces, then crisis averted. If not, we are one less extra small. This piece fits only one panel and I need to cut five more panels. There's no way. Okay, this really sucks. This one just isn't gonna happen. Sorry to give you false hope. Such is life when you use secondhand materials, I guess. I mean, obviously I can use this fabric for some sort of project in the future, but it's just not for this top. I just can't get the pieces I need for it. Well, now you know that not everything works out. Sometimes you just have to roll with the punches and move on. I do have three extra smalls cut. And initially I wanted three of every size and then I happened to have like enough, well, what I thought was enough fabric for four. So at least if one doesn't work out in every size, that's okay. We'll make it work. This is a later problem, potential flower bag, but even then I don't even know. I guess the extra smalls are done then. We're gonna move on to the smalls. And what do we wanna start with? I wanna start with an easy one, which is like, not plaid so we're gonna do this it's like the other colorway from the sample that i made a couple weeks ago so i think this will be very sweet i tried when i was organizing if you saw in last week's video that i tried to do like a floral for every size a plaid or like a line fabric for every size so they kind of have a rhyme and a reason of how i organize so this one does have a plaid it has this plaid, which is going to be a lot of work because of the pink situation. So I hope I have enough, but again, later problem. Now let's just cut the easy ones. So I feel productive and successful. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. I usually just skip stitch ripping because that just takes way too long. And ripping it is fast. It's ripping exactly on the seam. So it's perfect. Well, at least we found the grain line because when you rip fabric along a grain line it just goes straight so that helps me now i got this big ruffle but what do we do with the ruffle can it be a little shirt <laughs> okay what if it went like this now i'm just playing around with the fabric and i'm getting tangled up in it i could use it as like a trim piece in something I already have an idea for it. Now I'm double checking for stains or weird spots. I hear there's a faded spot, I'm pretty sure. Like it looks uneven. And I'm pinning it, so if I'm like on the other side, at least I can feel the pin and that, that means it's a flaw. We cannot make the same mistake again. So far it looks good. I found a tiny one, but that's easy. There's two spots and it's like pretty minor. I can feel the pin. That's a smart decision, Al. <laughs> Go me. I'm gonna quickly just lay it and cut it and we'll go to the next one. This is actually such a calm thing. It's just like, I put my headphones on. I just like zone out and I can do this for like hours until at least until my hand starts hurting from like cutting so much.
first small is cut and I'm just rolling everything in a little bundle and I already grabbed all my labels. So like my brand label, the content label, and also the size label, just to be sure that everything has what it needs. And I'm just pinning it together like layered. I, mean, I can't talk when I have pins in my mouth. I'm just poking it at the very top because the pinholes show, but it gets put in the seam allowance or it becomes part of the stitch line. And I'm honestly just stitching it to the tie that I use to like wrap the bundle like this. Like the tie has all the labels on it and it's good to go. The other thing I was actually thinking about was for the brand label, this one specifically, the Ellen Receiva one. I'm not sure how I actually want to put it in the garment yet. Like, I always want it at the back neck so it's hanging on the hanger. This. You see the label, which is important. So for this sample, I actually created like a separate little piece and I just searched the edge, which I don't mind, but I don't know if I love the exposed serging there. And then I made the same like back facing, but I did a little bias around it. And it was meant for this top, but it was so visible from here that you could see like the bias through and it was like a bump on your back. The bias seems too bulky. So then I did this version, which is just tucking it in the actual bias of the neck, which I don't mind, but I'm not, I don't know. I still don't love it, I don't think. We're gonna keep continuing to cut. And I don't know why, but things are taking longer than I thought. <laughs> it's totally fine. Next one is this white one. It has some kind of floral detail. Pretty simple, but I think the weight of the fabric will let it have a really good structure. Like it will really keep that fit and flare, which will be perfect. <laughs> So I just went downstairs for lunch, but it's getting really hot upstairs because today is like 25 degrees outside and it just gets like hotter and hotter here. But normally I wear my um, Ugg slippers that are a little too fluffy and my feet were getting too hot. So now we are bringing back the iconic studio shoes. I have to show you my fish shoes. <laughs> they even have the like fin on the back. Aren't they so great? It's been a few hours, not gonna lie. I have the mediums cut. Now, this is my strategy. Because I added a plaid in every size, just to keep it fair, it's okay. But as you saw before with the pink one, I mean, the pink one didn't work out, but I was trying to like match the plaids at least around the waist because that takes so much time. I'm just saving the plaids for last. <laughs> So I'm starting with like the florals and like more the plain colored, like the solid color, sorry. And going that route because it's easier for me and like quicker and then I can take my time tonight to like focus on the plaids. I just have some, what do I do, large? Yeah, I just have large and extra large. I actually decided to do extra small to extra large. And I haven't told you this yet, but I am going to sell in a market in Amsterdam in a few weeks. It's also kind of why I'm trying to get these tops done. I want to do the market kind of like a little soft launch. <laughs> I want to like present it there, see how they're doing. Not that I'm going to change anything with the design. It'll just be interesting to see how people react and to see people try it on and like, yeah, may as well. I have a chance to show people the new tops, especially for summer, and just to see how people react. I think it's kind of like the best case scenario. So that's why I'm like really trying to get this done. And I'm spending all day today like cutting and I don't think I'm gonna get to sewing honestly, but just trying to like prep myself as much as possible so that in a couple weeks, I have inventory enough to share with people in Amsterdam. It's also gonna be like quite the journey because it's like a two and a half hour train ride and I'm gonna try and take everything I need in a suitcase or two. I don't know how it's gonna go but we're gonna do our best and of course I'll share the whole process with you. Now I'm going to keep cutting. We're gonna start with the large. This one. Even though this one has lines it's not so 
crucial to like match things since it's so small and honestly i think also the checkered might be also easier to match graph paper is good and make sure we start cutting the l and not the m What you don't know is that it's been a few hours of me just like cutting and stuff, trying to cut out the size large, and I'm just having a time. Not a good time. I wanted to cut it out of the green check, but there's a flaw in the middle. And also it's just like totally not enough fabric. I Ooh. cut it. <laughs> I laid out the patterns and it didn't fit. It's not enough. So that's a bummer. I'm just trying to decide like what fabric to do next like i have three extra small smalls and mediums currently i only have two size large cut but they're the same fabric as other ones i don't know i think i'm just gonna cut the extra large see if i can get all the extra larges and then we'll come back to see what plaids from other sizes that i was planning that i can move to the large i'm just trying to like make sure it's pretty even because some fabrics i managed to get double but i want each size to also have one that's like the only one you know like the only fabric in that size so it's very unique it's very one of a kind so i'm just trying to figure that out currently we are getting there it is i don't even know what time it is um oh 20 to 7 like p.m so i think i'm just gonna cut for a few more hours and call it a day but we're getting there slowly slowly <laughs> we're gonna cut everything it's a journey you think you have enough fabric, but then you don't. Okay, extra large. Got this white plaid one. I think this will be good. I really actually like the feel of this fabric. It's nice and stiff, and there's a lot of it. There's one stain I saw already. Let's hope there's not more. <laughs> but I checked it over before when I was ironing, and I feel like it actually didn't have too much. Okay, there's other ones all here. Yeah. Perfect. The sun is setting now. I think it's almost like 8 o'clock maybe. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 8 p.m. Um, you saw in the last clip me cutting this poppy fabric, which was so special, but the whole middle of it was stained again. Like I saw some pieces before, but when I was holding it, I'm actually holding it up against my ring light to see like if there's other spots that aren't so visible. And there was a whole bunch of like, like off yellow. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> I think it was a tablecloth, so it's probably just some like food stains. Also unusable. The border pieces, I cut out one side for those two pieces, but the other side, I think I'll just like end up using for another project in the future. But let me show you all the ones that I have cut because I actually do have quite a bit that are ready to be sewn now. I have more. I'm not done yet. These are all the shirts that I have cut today. That's a lot, okay? Maybe it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. It's like a bunch of pieces per each roll that I hand cut and my hand is getting sore from the scissors. I'm quite happy with my selection. I have a couple doubles, but that's okay. I tried to, if I have doubles like this one is a double, but I did it in like two completely separate sizes, extra small and large. So if I did do a double, I tried to like put on either side of the size range. So next week is going to be sewing all of these or like starting the process. And I'll show you the whole like production process of how I do it. And we are on a deadline of a couple weeks. So let's hope I can get all of these cut. Now I did have to only cut 2L and 2XL because of the stain situation. But I have a couple other fabric options that I can do and like switch around. But I kind of want to see how they sew up first before I cut into any more fabric in case something doesn't work out. I want to be able to have fabric that I can use. 
thanks for watching me cut fabric all day. Maybe it wasn't the most exciting, but it's quite therapeutic, I think. It's like satisfying to watch, but I will see you next week when we start sewing everything. Bye.